And this medicinal plant is called sarasi and it's traditionally used in Jamaica to boil quote-unquote bush tea. And this bush tea is used to purify the blood and we also use sarasi to make a bush bath which is excellent for treating skin problems such as eczema and other rashes. I'm going to be showing you exactly how we go about doing all of that so stick around. How's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode of Earth's Medicine, the channel that introduces you to the healing wonders of Mother Earth with a Jamaican flavor. So Sarasi is one of many medicinal plants grown in Jamaica. Its botanical name is Momordica carantia and it has other common names depending on the region. For example, you have bitter melon, bitter gourd, and bitter apple, among others. It's a member of the Cucurbitaceae family, to which pumpkin, cucumber, and squash also belong. The origin of Sarasi is disputable because some claim that it originated from Asia, somewhere between China and India. However, there are others that claim that Sarasi is native to Africa and the Middle East. But one thing that we can all agree on is that Sarasi thrives best in a hot and humid climate. Here in Jamaica, you can find it growing wildly, organically and abundantly in just about any green space. Sarasi is a creeper, so you'll find it growing in forests or on just about anything that will support it. It's not uncommon to find it growing on fences, trees, shrubs, light posts, or even on the ground. Sarasi also blooms a beautiful yellow flower and it produces a fruit that is green when unripened, which matures into bright orange. This fruit has warts and ridges and an uneven surface, and it tends to burst open when it's in its last stage of maturity. And on the inside, there are red seeds. I used to taste these seeds when I was a child, and they were sweet. However, based on recent research that I did, I found out that they can be toxic when consumed. Bitter melon fruit comes in a variety of shapes and sizes, but the ones grown in Jamaica are small with an oval shape, and the taste is bitter. In Asian cultures, the fruit is used in culinary to prepare a variety of dishes. Other cultures use it in traditional medicine. And this is done by extracting the juice from the fruit or leaves or by boiling it to make tea. It's also used topically in the form of powders and supplements as well. In some cultures, bitter gourd is used to treat diabetes. It's also used to alleviate menstrual pain as a contraceptive and as a tea for gastrointestinal problems. It's also used to treat snake bites and to get rid of parasites. And it's also used topically for various skin issues like insect bites, scabies, itching, ringworm, psoriasis, as well as other skin problems. In India, it is used to treat cattle with fever by applying it to their horns and heads.
In some African countries, it is used spiritually and in rituals. In others, it's worn as jewelry and used for protection purposes. Traditionally, the main use of Sorosi in Jamaica is as a blood purifier or a detoxifying agent. And detoxification usually takes place maybe like two or three times for the year. And it's predominantly done with children. Adults do use it to detoxify their bodies as well. And this is usually given to children whenever they have long breaks from school and also during the mango season. The reason why they are given during the mango season is because during that time they tend to harvest and eat a lot of mangoes and they tend not to wash them. So there's the likelihood that parasites could enter their bodies. In my family, we usually detoxify our bodies maybe like two to three times for the year and it follows a series of cleansing. The first part of the cleansing process is deworming and this is done to expel any kind of parasites that are within the body. This is followed by a mild laxative, usually a herbal laxative, such as senna for example. And then the leaves and the stem of the sarasi is used to make a tea and we'll drink that tea for seven days consecutively. We don't usually go over seven days because it can be toxic to the liver. <laughs> sarasi is not a favorite of children because of its bitter taste and it's oftentimes referred to as bitter medicine. Another way in which Jamaicans traditionally use sarasi is topically. They use it to make a bush bath and this bush bath is used to bathe their infants, usually once per day. And this usually helps to get rid of skin problems such as eczema and other rashes, for example. There are some other Jamaican medicinal plants that are traditionally used to treat skin issues. And sometimes these plants are also added to this bush bath. For example, there is dog blood bush and dandelion. The leaves and stems of the sarasi plant are usually placed into a bath pan along with other plants as mentioned before or it can be used by itself and usually it's about a handful along with some water and the pan is placed into the sun and the sun will cause the medicine from the plant to be extracted into the water and once the water is warm enough the infant is placed into the bath pan and bathed. First, you're going to wash your leaves properly. Place them into a pot, add water, turn on the flame, cover the pot and allow it to boil. Once it starts to boil, turn off the flame and allow it to cool. Ensure that you leave the cover on the pot so that the water will fully absorb the medicine. Strain the liquid into a jug and then pour into a cup. The usual dosage for adults is one cup and for children it's half cup and this is usually had unsweetened on an empty stomach every morning for seven days consecutively as mentioned before it's not recommended for you to drink sarasi for longer than seven days because it can cause 
toxicity. Extra batches are usually stored into the refrigerator and before drinking every morning, it's advisable to have it warmed. Sarasin may affect hormone levels in women and sperm production in men. It's not recommended for pregnant and breastfeeding women and it may also cause extremely low blood sugar levels which can be fatal for some. So I hope you found value in this video. If you did and you would like to see similar videos in the future, then please subscribe to this channel. And guys, please remember to turn on your notification bell so that you do not miss any of my uploads. Thanks for watching. See you next week, Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.